Rotor, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Drew Dinkmeyer of DailyRotor.com. We're here to break down tonight's NBA slate. What's happening, Dink? Uh, not much. Rested after a, a big, long weekend for me uh, traveling, so I'm, I'm back and ready to go at it with some NBA action. You can see in his face, folks, he's raring to go with all of that tan and that rest, and he's going to help us win some money tonight by giving us Three stars and three value plays. We begin with his top star on the board, and that's Atlanta's Trey Young. It's going to be a fun one, man, tonight. Trey Young versus John Morant. Why are you going with Young? Yeah, it's great to see these two young uh, point guards who are really going to be the future of the league playing tonight in a 240 total, highest total on the board, fast-paced environment in Atlanta. Trey Young typically has higher assist rates at home, and this game environment should be a great one. Not only is it a high total, but really tight spread here with Atlanta favored by just two. We think Trey Young is well worth the price tag right around 10000 and should be able to outperform that tag and offer one of the best upsides on the slate. He says numbers just better for John Morant, like Drew said, and the price is right. Trey Young is going to go off tonight in a very fast-paced environment at home against Memphis. It's going to be fun. It's one we we'll definitely have our eye on. Another fun one is the Cleveland Cavaliers. I like the Cavs tonight in this spot, and I like Andre Drummond in that front court. We'll see if Tristan Thompson is active, but Andre Drummond makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it sounds like Tristan Thompson won't be able to go tonight, and that should really up the minute ceiling on Andre Drummond, perhaps get back to those upper 30s minutes that we saw in his time in Detroit. And the price tag has you know, steadily slipped uh, since he's moved over to the Cavaliers. He hasn't been playing as many minutes, hasn't been able to put up as big a fantasy point production. He's always had pretty good success against Rudy Gobert, and you know, it's surprisingly the type of matchup that should keep him on the floor quite a bit. So I think this is a good kind of buy-low opportunity on a star in Andre Drummond. It's a big man versus big man battle, Rudy Gobert and Andre Drummond. And like Drew said, that could mean Andre Drummond sees a ton of playing time, especially with Tristan Thompson not expected to play for Cleveland. Drummond, a fine and yet kind of sneaky star on this slate. A not-so-sneaky star is San Antonio's DeMar DeRozan. The Spurs will not have LaMarcus Aldridge tonight. Jakob Pertl also out, or expected to be out, for the Spurs, which means DeMar DeRozan is an autoplay for me. Yeah, there's just a lot of up upside here for DeMar DeRozan, and it's really going to open up a ton of usage. We've seen this kind of throughout the season. Whenever LaMarcus Aldridge is sat, DeMar DeRozan's numbers across the board have spiked. The usage rate has gotten up around 30%. The assist rate has spiked. Even the rebounding rate has spiked here. It's not a particularly exciting matchup against Indiana, a team that's a pretty good defensive team on the whole, but it's a really good price tag, and he's a guy that should get into a ton of your lineups uh, simply based on the volume he's going to have at his disposal without LaMarcus Aldridge. Absolutely. Get DeMar DeRozan in your lineups here. The exposure, the usage is all going to go through the roof. The price, not high enough. DeRozan, a clear lock for lineups tonight. Another smart play that probably should be a lock is his teammate, Trey Lyles. Lyles is going to start at center tonight for San Antonio, making him an excellent play in place of LaMarcus Aldridge and Jakob Pertl. Yeah, it's a tough matchup for Trey Lyles against kind of that big Indiana front court, but San Antonio really doesn't have anyone else at this point. You know, Trey Lyles played close to 40 minutes last time out, and we'd expect him to get into those mid-upper 30s. The price tag simply doesn't account for that, as the absence of both LaMarcus Aldridge and Jakob Pertl just leaves him so thin in the front court. So there's going to be a lot of value to be had in that San Antonio front court tonight, and Trey Lyles is one of those uh, value plays. Absolutely, you're going to see increased usage across the board for several other players. Uh, tonight, Trey Lyles is costing the least and should get an opportunity to play. We'll see how uh, successful he is in that front court. But Lyles, just too obvious to leave out of your lineups. But who will see that increased usage alongside DeMar DeRozan? It's probably his teammate Rudy Gay. Why do you like Rudy Gay here tonight? Yeah, Rudy Gay's been, you know, hovering in the teens in minutes kind of, you know, over the last three or four weeks or so. And last game, he got up around 30 when Pirtle went down early. So we expect him to start tonight in that thin front court that we just talked about with San Antonio. And, you know, Indiana is a team that you have to play big against because they play a lot of DeMontis Sabonis and Miles Turner together. So they're going to need uh, Rudy Gay's kind of size and athleticism there. And I think he's going to have some mismatches on the perimeter as well. So I think the Spurs are a great source of value tonight without LaMarcus Aldridge, without Jakob Pirtle playing at home still have a reasonable kind of 110 implied total or so and these guys are really cheap Rudy Gay you know back in his heyday was kind of a 6 7k player uh, he's going to get that playing time again now and potentially that opportunity and he's priced uh, closer to 4k tonight price closer to four thousand dollars Rudy Gay in a good spot to exceed that value on FanDuel let's get him in there alongside Trey Lyles Martin Rosen we're all about the San Antonio Spurs tonight one final value play that we do want to mention here, Drew, and that brings us to Kyle Anderson of the Memphis Grizzlies. Obviously, the Grizzlies have been beat up as of late, and Anderson is one of the players that's reaped the benefits. 
Yeah, we know everybody's going to talk about the fast pace in Memphis and Atlanta, two teams that play at the top of the pace in the league. But we want the slow-mo. We want Kyle Anderson's kind of slowing it down, getting those steals and blocks, contributing across the board. He's seen increased minutes in the absence of Brandon Clark and Jaron Jackson Jr. as they've had to play some smaller ball lineups that have played Kyle Anderson closer to the four. And I think it's really helped his rates kind of across the board. The playing time's really consistent. Atlanta's a team that gives up a ton of steals and blocks. I think this is a good spot for Kyle Anderson to outperform his price tag. Anderson going to outperform that price tag. Fast paced game. All the reasons that you know you need to play the Grizzlies, we'll just do it with Kyle Anderson, who's affordable tonight. That's going to do it for us here on the FanDuel. Hurry up, Drew. We appreciate the time. Good luck tonight. Thanks so much, Greg. Enjoy the games tonight. Absolutely. You as well. Tomorrow, we'll take a look at this week on the PGA Tour with Jim Sonis and Davis Maddock. Have a great night. Enjoy the NBA games. And we'll see you back here tomorrow.